Obsession. The fiction writers have long been seeking that plot which is known as the perfect crime. But like the elusive will of the wisp, it is always just beyond reach. Murder will out, say the wise ones. And the pursuer is often that shadowy ghost known as conscience. In a moment, you'll hear such a case in the story of Cry Vengeance, starring Barton Yarborough and Michael Raffetto. A tale told in the Belgian Congo of violence, death, and greed, which brought two men to a stern justice. True men trapped in the pitfall of their own obsession. Belgian Congo is a vast place where strangeness is as commonplace as the predatory animals which roam the jungles. It is a place also of loneliness and where isolation is a thing of necessity, not of choice. On a back trail, two men ride toward a destination charted on a map of greed. Their names Harris and Pitkin, and their plans are as dark as the blackness of their own obsession. Yeah, but how can we be sure that Koenig has got any money? Why, well, must have. Stands to reason, don't it? He's lived out there on that farm for years. He must have some money. And he's never spent any. What do you mean? He's uh, kind of a miser? Yeah, that's it. Too stingy to even have any help on the place. He's all by himself. That's why it's going to be easy. The nearest farm to him is that place we passed eight or nine kilometers back. <laughs> well, I guess they won't hear him holler then, anyhow. <laughs> Not a chance. Why, they probably won't even find him. Nobody ever comes along here. Hey. Ain't that it? Right over there? Hmm? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Well, now, uh, just how are you gonna go about this now? Well, we've got to stall a little and see if we can find out where he's got his money, see? Mm -hmm. We'll ride up and ask him if we can stay for supper and offer to pay him. Then we'll keep an eye on what he does with the money we give him. That might give us an idea where the rest of it's hid. Yeah, if that don't work, why, I'll try to draw him out a little. So, don't be too anxious with that revolver. Hey, wait a minute. I thought you was going to do the killing. Well, all right, all right. I'd just as leave as not. Only, if I'm going to do the talking, somebody else has got to do the dirty work, don't they? 
I can't do both. No, I know. And I'll do it. But listen, uh, how am I going to know when? Huh? Oh. Well, let's see. Uh, I'll tell you. After I've found out all I can find out, I'll say to you, uh, it seems to be a little bit cooler this evening. And then you let them have it in the back. Okay. I'll be listening for you to say it. Let's see. We ought to be able to get started again just after dark. By morning, we'll be in Portuguese territory and safe. And we'll be in Luanda and on a boat before they ever find him. <laughs> Maybe they'll never find him, huh? Whoa. Whoa, boy. Whoa. Oh. The house is back of that clump of trees there. Mm. Yeah, I... Yeah, I see the smoke from the chimney. <laughs> the old boy must be getting supper. We're just in time. We better better tie the horses outside the gate here. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. Well, are you coming? Yeah, wait a second, will you? Well, come on, come on. And close the gate. Hello. Hello in there. Hello. Hey, maybe he ain't there. Oh, he's there, all right. Come on, we'll go up to the door. Hello, who is it? Uh, Mr. Koenig? Yeah, yeah, I'm Koenig. Why, uh, my name's uh, Clark, uh, Mr. Koenig, and oh. this is Mr. Anderson here. Yeah, I see. They told us we might be able to get some supper here. Oh, yeah, 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 sure. Just I'm getting ready to eat. Uh, come right on in. Oh, fine. Uh, come on, Anderson. I am. Uh, I'm just putting a supper on the table. <laughs> well, of course we we want to pay you for what we eat. You know? Oh, never mind about it. You're very welcome. I, I put on some extra plates and then. Oh no, 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 no. We always pay our way, Miss Koenig. Sort of a well, a, sort of a principle with us. <laughs> uh, Anderson. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, well, this covering? Oh, no, no, no. No, no, I, I couldn't. I couldn't take it. I, I haven't much of a zubber, but uh, what it is, you are no, welcome No, 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 that's out. Yeah. Yeah, you take this. Sure. Well, go ahead now. We'll, we'll feel better about it, you know? Uh, well, if, if that's the way you feel, well, danke schön. Just pull up some chairs, dear. I, I put out the things right away. Yeah, pull up the chair, will you? Yeah, well, thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, I'm done. Hey, look. Hmm. Look in that coffee den behind the stove. Yeah, yeah, I see. Well, that, uh, that soup certainly smells good, Mr. Koenig. Yeah, we're kind of hungry. Uh, you boys been riding a long ways today? Ach, don't know whether that, that soup bowl is hot. Here, here, here's some plates. Yes, uh... <clears throat> We've come quite a ways today. Now, uh, just help yourself. Yeah, well, just leave that to me. Um, uh, Mr. Koenig, uh, we are, uh, we're thinking of taking up some land around here. Oh. Uh, how is it for farming? Can a fellow make any money? Well, oh, little maybe. Well, that's no, not so bad if he can save it, huh? <laughs> In the course of five or ten years, a man ought to be able to lay away a nice little nest egg, shouldn't he? Well, I, I don't know. If things go well, why, yes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I see. Well, tell me, uh, how uh, how have things been going with you? Oh, so, so. Um, must be kind of lonesome out here, though. No friends or... Oh, I, I, I have lots of friends. Huh? Oh. The animals. Oh. Uh, my horses and cows and chickens and, and then there's the birds and the... I see. Well, then you, you must be pretty fond of animals, eh? Oh, yeah, yeah. Do you know, but sometimes I think I can almost understand them, know just what they are thinking, and they know just what I am thinking. I never heard an animal in my life. And no animal would ever hurt me. Yeah, they wouldn't, huh? 
No, sir, they, they are all my friends, even the wild animals. Why, one time, one time a leopard broke into my chicken pen and I walked right out there without even a clop. I don't even keep a firearm in the house. Oh. And, uh, and I just spoke to him nice and, and told him to go away. And he did. Why, why, I bet even a lion, if I saw one, wouldn't hurt me. All animals is my friends. <laughs> well, that makes it nice. They would all protect me. Mm-hmm. Um, tell me, it must get pretty hot here. Oh, yeah, yeah. At this time of the year, it is warm. Mm-hmm. But it seems a little bit cooler this evening. Mm. Never knew what hit him. So I hope nobody heard the shot. Uh, there's nobody around here who could hear it. What's the matter with you? It sounded louder than I thought it would. That's because it was in a closed room. Well, let's see what's in that tin. Mm-hmm. Is it there? Yeah. Yeah. Here, all right. I don't know how much. We can count it later, though. Well, that suits me. I ain't so keen about hanging around here. All right, all right, then. Come on. Come on. Just about, uh, about how long do you suppose we was in there? Five, maybe ten. No more than ten minutes. What? Uh, seems to me it got dark awful fast. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'll open it. Uh, seems like it's been a year since... Bitkin. Huh? Now, oh, what's the... Look, the horses. They're gone. Wait a minute. What? Why? Why, look. This board you tied him to is busted off. Say, what do you... I bet you they heard that shot. I told you it sounded loud. Now, what are we going to do? We got to have horses. We can't cover that distance on foot. Now, we... wait a minute. Wait a minute, will you? Don't get excited. Yeah, but... The old man must have horses. Why, sure, don't you know? He said he did. Come on. No, wait a minute. Wait. wait. Listen. Listen, there's somebody coming up the road. Oh, there's no... Listen, I tell you, there is. Well, whoever it is will ride by. Nothing to get excited about. Come on, duck into the bush. Come on, hurry up. Say, is that chicken squawking? Why, it is, sure enough. Must be something in old man Kalik's chicken run. Oh, oh. I'd hate to see him lose all his chickens. Let's ride in and tell him. Hey, Kenny. Kenny. Hey, Kenny. Oh, Kenny. Kenny. Oh, good Lord, then. They'll, they'll find them. Well, what if they do? They're not going to get us. Well, we'll be aboard ship by this we time. We can't get over the line into Portuguese territory without horses. We can't go on foot. It'll take days. Don't worry. We're going to have horses. Yeah? Well, what do you mean? We're going to take their horses when they come out. There's only two of them and there's two of us. And we've got a gun. Say, where is that revolver? Why, it's right... What? What, Pitkin? What's the matter? I... I left it in there. In the house. On the table. In the house? Yeah. Fine chance of holding them up and getting their horses without a gun. We'll have to go on without horses. We can't. We can't. We've got to now. We've got to get into Portuguese territory by morning. Murder will out, say the wise ones. As they also have said that the best laid plans of man will oft times go awry. And no matter how vast the jungles, there will always be the pursuers and the pursued. It is the law of the jungle. In a moment, we'll return to our story. Unexpected, it wreaks vengeance in the formula 
of the stern law of justice. Pitkin and Harris had planned the perfect crime. But the shot that went crashing into the brain of gentle old Koenig frightened their horses and they broke away from their tether. Now Harris and Pitkin are attempting the perilous journey to the Portuguese territory on foot. In the jungles, the monkeys chatter and the bright plumaged birds fill the creeping vine-laced air with their unearthly cries. Every sound of the dank steaming growth of untold centuries now resounds in the minds of Pitkin and Harris as two words, cry vengeance. Two words that have become their obsession. Wait. Wait a minute. Wait. We're lost, I tell you. We, you know we are. Oh, stop your whining. Yeah. I know where we are. We'll be inside of the river within an hour. That's what you said this morning. It must be long past noon now. I tell you, we've been going in a circle. We'll never get out of here. We'll die here. We'll die and rot here. Shut your mouth, will you? Come on. What's that? Oh, it's only a couple of monkeys up there. Will you stop wasting your breath talking? Oh, I, I can't go any further. I, I got to rest. I can't. Shut up and come on. Oh, I can't. I got to rest. I'm not going any further until I... Do you want to spend the night in here? Well, if you don't, you'd better get up. Uh, and... It's a long time to dark. We can afford to rest a few minutes. And I'm going to. You can go on if you want to. You only walk in circles anyhow. I'm going to stay right here. Uh... All right. Uh... All right. Five minutes. <laughs> Say. What? Keating said animals were his friends. Well, they've certainly been friendly to him so far. If it hadn't been for animals, we we wouldn't be in this fix. What do you mean? Our horses running away and leaving us to go on foot. And the chickens attracting the attention of those men. Yeah. You know, I wonder what started them squawking. Oh, rubbish. We could have taken their horses if, if you hadn't left your revolver in the house. Do you suppose they'll be able to find out who that revolver belonged to? I don't know. Won't do them any good if they do find out. Nobody could track us through this jungle. So we're not as bad off as we might be. If we'd had horses and gone by the road, they could have followed us easy. In the jungle here, they... Well, they wouldn't have a chance. They could pass within 50 feet of us right now and not see us. Yeah, I never thought of that. And another thing. They'd never expect us to cut through the jungle in the first place. They'd naturally suppose we took the road... That's where they're looking for us, more than likely, if they are looking for us. By the time they find out that we're not on the road, we'll be across the river. Yeah, if we can find the river. Oh, we'll find it. I lost my bearings for a while this morning, but I'm all right now. We'll be at the river. Hey! Hey, listen. Listen, did you hear that? Keep quiet. Now, curse them monkeys. Hey! He's coming this way. Get out. Get out and keep quiet. Oh, Irish! Hello! Is that you, Irish? Yes, it's me. Where's Lafarge? He's gone ahead. I thought I heard something over here. Good Lord, they, they are trailing us. Well, they'll never get us. They haven't a chance, I tell you. They'll find us in here in a million years. We gotta lay low, though, for a while. We'll get out of here before night. Yeah, but we can't make our way through the jungle at night. And we'll wait till morning. They'll soon get tired of beating through this bush. And we're we're safe here just as long as we Pitkin. Pitkin. Dogs. They're trailing us with dogs. Pitkin. Horses, chickens, and now dogs. Oh, everything's against us. Everything. Come on. Come on, don't be a fool. We've got to keep moving now. Oh, what the use? We'll never reach the river. Come on. Come on, will you? Where are 
Okay. Wait. Let me listen a minute. They're over there to the left, I think. Come on. Come on, this way. No, no. Now, there they are ahead. They're right ahead of us. We'll double back. But then I'll throw them off. I guess... Oh, if we can only rest just a little, this heat. Don't is... talk. Don't talk. Keep moving. Come on. Uh, they're ahead of us, too. They got us surrounded. This way, you fool. Don't stop. This way. No, 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 I can't. Oh, it's no use going on. They got us. Horses, chickens, dogs, animals. Betraying us. Oh, we, we can't beat them. I'm... I'm going to give up. Come on. Come on, I I'm say. I'm not. I'm not going. I'm going to give up. Come on. Come on, do you hear me? Come on or I'll kill you. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Kill me. I don't care. Those dogs can follow. I'm not afraid of the men. But animals. Animals. Oh, we... I'm going to give myself up. I'm going to call them. I'm going to tell them. Listen. You do, Harris. And I'll choke you to death with my bare hands. You hear? And I mean it. I'm going to get to the river. And I'm not going to let you or anyone else stop me. Do you hear that? And if you make a noise, I don't I'll... care. I'm going to give up, Harris. I'm going to give Harris. up. Here we are. Over here. Harris. Harris. Here we you... are. Here. This way. Give up. Shut up. Hey. The boy. Here they are. Oh. Come on, boys. I've got one of them anyhow. Hey. Hello. Hello in there. Hey. Hello. Uh, what's the matter? Hey. Hey. I want to cross the river. I want a canoe. I want a canoe and a paddle. Mm. You be run away, huh? No, no, you... You're talking like a fool. Hey, listen. I want you to take me across the river. Across the river, that's all. Bad to cross river. Bad magic. Oh, rot, rot. You speak them, say so. All same. Past all things for bad magic. Look. Look here. I got money. See? Plenty of it. I'll pay you. I'll pay you anything you want. See? Here, look. Look, I'll give you all this, see? Mm, bad magic to cross river. All right. All right, then. Twice this. See? Here. Here, take these. Here, take them, all of them. But, but get me across, see? Mm. Get me across. Mm. You get them in canoe. Good. I thought that'd bring you to your senses. Well, come on. Come on, get in. Get in. Yeah. All the same. Past all things for bad magic. Hey. Hurry. Hurry, can't you? Hurry. Make them go fast as can. Hey. Lord, listen, can't you, can't you hurry? Yeah, make them go fast. Oh, don't, don't tell me that again. I'm sick of hearing it. Here, here, give me that other paddle. I'll help you. Give me that no, other paddle. No, him canoe tip, not stand up. Him canoe tip over. Oh, 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 oh,
justice does not always triumph. The courts do not always mete out the law. The blind goddess of justice will have her way in many forms, and the scales will always be in balance. Such is the case with Pitkin and Harris. Old man Koenig is avenged, and the jungles close in the faithful chapter, and no longer does it cry vengeance through the dark corridors of a guilty man's obsession. In a moment, I'll return and tell you about our story for next week. Next week, Barry Sullivan will join us in a story called Faith is the Evidence, in which a man walks a lonely path in a search for that elusive thing we know as contentment, but wanders not knowing that his lamp of discovery casts the black light of... Our story was produced and transcribed by C.P. McGregor in Hollywood.